It's Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know today. And today is Monday, December 14th, 2020. Today is the beginning of early voting for the Georgia Senate runoff elections, pitting Democrat Reverend Raphael Warnock against Republican Senate appointee Kelly Loeffler and Democrat John Ossoff in his race against Republican incumbent David Perdue. Meanwhile, if all goes as planned with today's electoral college vote, President-elect Joe Biden moves closer to the confirmation of his win as President of the United States. Number two. Tensions over the 2020 presidential election results escalated to violent clashes over the weekend in Washington, D.C., as Trump supporters clashed with counter-protesters. Nearly 30 people were arrested during the Stop the Steal protest, and at least four people were stabbed and are in critical condition. At least one person has been arrested in connection with one of the stabbings. This weekend's rally took place just two days before the aforementioned Electoral College, and they will formally elect Democrat Joe Biden as the 46th president. Number three, the first trucks delivering the Pfizer coronavirus vaccine for widespread use in the U.S. pulled out of a Michigan manufacturing plant Sunday. The first shots, critical to stopping the nation's pandemic, will reach states today, and the shipment of about 3 million doses will begin the biggest vaccination effort in U.S. history. Healthcare workers and nursing home residents will be the first Americans to receive the vaccines as infections, hospitalizations, and deaths soar in the U.S. Number four, 52-year-old Alfred Bourgeois and 40-year-old Brandon Bernard were executed by lethal injection in Texas within less than 24 hours of each other, and they were two of four black men whose executions are scheduled to occur during the Trump administration's final days in office. President-elect Joe Biden has vowed to end the federal death penalty and give incentives to states that follow because many federal death row inmates have been wrongfully convicted. Number five, rapper and business connoisseur. Rick Ross is using a lifeline to get into the almost $26 billion U.S. telehealth business with JetDoc, the fastest growing company in its sector. The partnership is setting a new standard for virtual doctor visits as JetDoc works to not only alleviate patients' financial burdens, but also improve access to both preventative and urgent care. Join me today with social activist Coy Malone live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central as we discuss today's top headlines and more. What You Need to Know is brought to you by Black Voters Matter. Visit blackvotersmatterfund.org for more information. I'm Sybil Wilkes. Be informed. Be empowered.